Welcome back. This is the uh, another set of questions. Uh, what's our prediction for the 2018-2017-18 awards, right? What are the awards again that we're going Let's to talk it. about? Let's start with our prediction for the Rookie of the Year. Yes. Are you ready? Rookie of the Year? Yeah. The Roy? Three, two, one. Dennis Smith Jr. All right. <laughs> what do you got? Why Simmons? <laughs> Simmons, one and done. <laughs> I'm just going to say that Simmons, I think he's a hack. I think he's cheating because he did sit out one season. Yeah. So he did get to experience, he get to watch. He was injured. He's injured. So he can't blame, it's not his fault. Yeah. No pun intended to his uh, It's not his mate. fault. Well, yeah. Ben Simmons got to sit on the bench, got to practice or see practice with the team, got to see his competitors. So I think when he comes back, his body's going to be good. He's going to be mentally ready because he's basically been, he's not, it's not like he was on vacation or anything so i think he'll be ready to really um take it on just like start from where he's supposed to be and really prove himself because he still has to prove himself that just because he's injured and he's not been playing that he can still play so i think simmons will come out, come out strong and he looks good like preseason mm. he looks good he just can't shoot efficiently yeah, can't but shoot. i think that's going to come in as he grows in the nba right mm -hmm. i have dennis smith because i have uh he's in the perfect system and in a perfect coach in terms of rick carlisle is going to carve him out to get the best out of every single like opportunity that he has and i think and the, the thing is they're short on point guards they don't have any legit point guards and right now they're building uh the goal is to build around a star and that's why they picked them and they were lucky that they had still have him and i think he has that star potential and i think every opportunity that uh that he has will be given to him by the dallas mavericks because they want to build around the star kind of to phase, uh, you know, transition from Dirk Nowitzki to another star. And I think he is the star that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give him every every single, you know, the keys to handle this team and produce the most. Mm, okay. Next question. Dirk Nowitzki still playing? Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's his last season, maybe two more seasons, I think. Okay. Ready? Next up. Next question. Who will win the most improved player most award? Improved? Ooh. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Aaron Gordon. Yeah, Angelo Russell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why Ice is Angelo? Ice in his veins. Ice in his veins? Ice in his veins. Well, I don't know. I feel what do you like see in him? I see he has a lot of potential. I see he has a lot of potential. I see um, he just got to get away from, you know, that La -la whatever happened. Yeah, yeah. What happened, whatever happened in the Lakers and just start new and... His team's not that good, but like I feel. But like, he has the key. Like yeah. you know, they, they don't have Brook Lopez. Yeah. They don't have legit scorer right now aside from him. I and I you know I can see where you're coming from, and I think sometimes player just needs that you know that change of scenery. Kyrie Irving. Yeah, changes <laughs> and and they just like you know have a break and they have a break of season. Like what happened with Nash when he went from Dallas to Phoenix? Phoenix it was yeah. just you know it's not it wasn't a bad situation, but the fact that just a change of scenery That's true. just got him to you know MVP kind of performance. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he's gonna be an MVP, he's Angelo, mm -hmm. but I can see where you're coming from, right? Yeah. Nets. Yeah. And I, I have, <laughs> I have Aaron Gordon, uh, which is he's still staying on the same team, but his is more of an opportunity and bringing him back to his natural position. Uh, as you uh, as remember, last year he was playing uh, the small forward position because of they uh, they acquired Ibaka. And now that Ibaka is gone, the second half of the season he went off because they put put him in his natural position, which was a four, and he was just you know he played naturally and he didn't have to think about how to really play because that's how he's been playing. And I think he's gonna have a breakout season right now mm -hmm. because now he's a year you know past you know that getting used to it, and now yeah. he's worked on his game, he's worked on his shots, and he looked really good in the preseason. I think this is his chance to not just be known as the slam dunk, slam dunk who did all that crazy dunks and should have won it too, right? Oh yeah, I forgot he didn't get the, the crown. And he, he had the best dunk too, if you think about it. That behind, the, oh my god, that's not even fair. All right, so next question. Dunk. Who will win the Defensive Player of the Year? Okay. Ready? Yep. Three. Two, one. Paul Rudy George. Gobert. <laughs> Why Paul George? I don't know. <laughs> I like Paul George. I feel like he, um, well, according to his interviews, and he really, he's really set on saying that OKC is a defensive team. Like he wants to say that he's a defense, that, that they're a defensive team, and he really, um, he's really, he's really respectful of like. Well, it's funny because he said Westbrook is a defensive nightmare, first of all. But then he said, like, Carmelo. Like, Carmelo's <laughs> good. But, like, Paul George, I feel like he wants to lead that vibe. And you can see when he's playing. Like, he plays up. He's long. He plays both sides of the court. I feel like um, 
in terms of like mental and like I think Paul George. I think he's the best defender if you think yeah. about it. Like I know what def- I mean, Westbrook is a freak, mm-hmm. but he's more defensively like disciplined and he knows the fundamentals of playing defense. Yeah. And he did get yeah. a lot of steals this preseason too. So like yeah. you can see like he's to get steals you need anticipation and exactly. like be in the play. So yeah. I think PG will be the D O Y. I got I got I got Gobert yeah. not, uh, because of the fact that he's gonna be the lone. He's right now the lone bright spot right now besides Donovan Mitchell, who just they just drafted. Mm. Uh, he's gonna anchor this defense. He's gonna win. He's gonna help the Utah Jazz win games through defense, and that's I think why he's gonna win it this year. And and he's gonna be the focal point really of this Jazz team. And his defense is really gonna show. And even though he has to put up more numbers offensively, I think his defense is gonna help win games, which is a different saying that most people would say. Your offense is going to win games, yeah. but his defense is going to win Utah Jazz some games and maybe help them in the playoffs. Hey, offense sells tickets, defense wins championships. Exactly, exactly. Other question, let's go. We got <laughs> a minute left, so we're going to go. Who will be the coach of the year? Coach of the year? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Brady Donovan. <laughs> okay, where you going? Brad Stevens, just because Boston Celtics making them gel without... I don't know, making the job, like the superstars, right? You got Hayward and then you got Irving and you lose a lot of your pieces. So like you want to really, um, well, obviously Brett Stevens is a good coach coming from college, but in order, to, if he were to like really make them play high level again and then just, you know, beat whatever teams you think that they would lose to, then it's like, he's a good coach. And I feel, I feel like Brad Stevens is going to show up this year, yeah. I, I feel like I'm coming on, on yeah. your point too. That's why I feel like Billy Donovan is going to win it. Mm. It's because he has to make it work with three stars, three superstars, really, if you think about it. Mm. Three superstars with egos, not just, yeah, you know, the they egos, all have yeah. three different egos. And, and to, for him to be able to make this work, he's going to win it. I think he has the capability because he's handled it before with uh, Durant and Westbrook. Mm. And I feel like this is just another version of it. And I think if he does it and if they go far in the playoffs, he should win it. Quick MVP. Last question. Who yeah. will be the MVP? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Giannis. Kawhi Leonard. Oh. Kawhi Leonard. Leonard, he got an- his ankle injury. <laughs> <laughs> I think he puts up numbers consistently. I think he's, a- he's clutch. I think he's a beast. I feel like he's going to win it. Yeah. But he has more- I feel like he has more help this year with Rudy Gay. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Giannis will win it because of the fact that Jabari is out. And this team really depended on him. And he's going to make another, the same leap that he did. I think I'm predicting he's going to make the same leap as he did when he won the last season, when he won the most improved. He's going to score just as efficiently. I think he's going to hit more threes. And I think he's going to average close to a triple-double. Mm, okay. That's our predictions for those awards. If you have anything that you'd like to put your two cents, please make sure you comment or follow, follow our social media channels and everything like that.